So you want to be a good neighbor. That's why you're here. You're probably living in an apartment and you have a subwoofer and you're trying to figure out how can I actually be able to use my subwoofer without getting any complaints from my neighbors because of the noise it's emitting, the vibration. Now, really you have to understand what the problem that the subwoofer actually causes, which is low frequency noise, which is the vibration. And there are ways to really eliminate the amount of vibration going from your subwoofer down to your neighbors. And that's what we'll talk about in this video. And these, these ways on how to get it done doesn't require any type of soundproofing. It doesn't require you to buy a bunch of material and to do any type of construction because especially in an apartment, you can't really do that. But if you want to get into that video right up there, how to soundproof if you live in an apartment and you don't really want to add too much value to that apartment. Now, the, the type of frequency that the subwoofer emits is a low frequency noise, which is usually the only way to really get rid of a low frequency noise is by decoupling because low frequencies causes a vibration. What comes out from your TV speakers when you're watching the, mu the, the movie, those are more high frequency noise. So the low frequency noise is the type of noise that really goes through the drywall, goes through the insulation, goes through the floor ceiling, and that is what you would want to try to regulate. Now, the first and easiest thing that you can do, that you can do right now, is to simply move the subwoofer. Now, the worst place to have the subwoofer is basically where I have mine right now, is in the corner of the room, the furthest from you. And what you want to do is you want to bring it a little bit closer to you so you don't have to have the volume of the subwoofer high as much. And this creates actually two good things. It, it creates that the vibration isn't as forceful going down and also you're able to hear what's coming out of the subwoofer a lot more clear if it's closer to you. Now, as I said, the worst place to have your subwoofer is in the farthest corner of the room. Then it would be just place it right in the middle behind your speakers. And then the best place to basically have it for sound purposes is right in front of you, in front of the speakers in the middle. Now, Ideally, that's not the best place to have the subwoofer because you don't really want to have it right in the middle of the room. But in this case, if you're trying to, if it's late at night and you don't really want to have that much vibration coming out of the subwoofer, having it closer to you, volume a little bit lower will mitigate. And also, if you combine that with sound isolation clips on the bottom of the subwoofer, then you'll be right on your way to helping mitigate that vibration. Now, of course, everything that I talk about in this video, you can find the links below in the description to make it a lot easier for you to find what you're looking for. Now, the next thing that you can do and that really anybody should do if you have a subwoofer just to make it sound better really is to absorb the vibration, the annoying vibration that you don't really want to listen to is a sound isolation pad. Now, sound isolation pads are perfect for if you have a violently vibrational washer or dryer vibrational. Anyway, you put a isolation pad underneath it and you notice a difference. Believe me. Also, I use it right now. I have one on my pool pump underneath the pool pump because it causes a lot of vibration even on a slab and it just completely limits the vibration and it will do the exact same thing with a subwoofer. It will deaden the vibration that the subwoofer emits, the, the annoying vibration that goes down to your neighbors and will just leave the room sounding better will just make the subwoofer sounding better so even though even if you live in a house and you're not really concerned with bothering anybody with your sound with your subwoofer it's it's not a bad idea to have a sound isolation pad underneath it to absorb those access vibration that you don't really need or want to listen to so that's a good an easy thing that you can do right now now another thing that you can do is to completely decouple the subwoofer from the ground. Now, when we talk about low frequency, high frequency noise, there is very different ways on how to soundproof for those. And if you're wondering, video right up there, I talk about different types of frequencies from low to high frequencies and the different ways on how to soundproof for those different frequencies and also how much it costs because there is, it does cost a lot more to soundproof for low frequency noise 
where this subwoofer comes along, vibrational noise is a low frequency noise. So we want to decouple. So of course we're not going to decouple the floor. We're not going to do any type of construction, but we can decouple the subwoofer from the floor using a ISO acoustic subwoofer decoupler stand. Now you can just purchase one of these and put the subwoofer right on it. What it will do, it will basically absorb all the vibration coming from the bottom of your subwoofer and instead of going into the floor, vibrating the floor and the wall and the ceiling, it will just absorb most of those vibration, leaving the sound a lot better and obviously not as much vibration because let's face it, it's not really fun. It, it doesn't really make the movie or the music sound good if everything around you is shaking and vibrating. Now, one of these stands will basically eliminate all of that shaking around in the room if that's the problem that you're having. So basically placing one of those things underneath your subwoofer is not a bad idea. And finally, the last thing is acoustic panels and bass traps. Now, that is more of a finishing touch just to make the room sound better. It's not really going to eliminate a lot of the vibration going from the subwoofer down to the floor beneath you, but it will help in mitigating some of the sound waves that are bouncing out of your subwoofer into the floor, ceiling, walls. It will help absorb it. And by placing them strategically into the room, you will be well on your way to enjoying a really good experience watching your movie or listening to your music. Now, if you have any other ways, if you found a way, a trick that I haven't mentioned on how to basically not get one of those complaints from your neighbors because of your subwoofer, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other suggestions that I could use or that the viewers would benefit from, let us all know in the comment section below. And also, if you have any questions on soundproofing, just let me know and I'll try to answer all of your questions. And basically, maybe if it's a question that's repeating itself all the time, I'll make a video and give you a shout out. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.